intellectuals in the Senate would have you believe that they do not lust for power. That they will care for your children as they will their own. Why are we dividing the loot up with people that we fought against? So they can use our roads to stab us in the back again? Tell me, what's so great about Greece? Alexander never met a Roman. They call him the Great. I call him Little Alex. If we listened to these philosophers, we would all be speaking Greek and taking little boys for wives. Speaking Greek? Boy love. This guy's an idiot. Well, that idiot is going to be the next quaster by the looks of this crowd. Is this what Rome has become? Are you scared of the outside world? You know, it's not too late to throw your toga into the race. No place we can get a drink. Do I ever. You have to come see the new play I'm working on. It's about a young boy who's accidentally left alone during the Saturnalia and must fight off two murderous centaurs trying to rob his home. I call it Villa Solo. Don't tell me you actually believe in centaurs. Of course! Do you not believe in the power of the gods? Not that I don't believe in the power of the gods. I just find the existence of a man with the body of a horse to be ridiculous. So you're saying the power of the gods is ridiculous? Wouldn't we have seen one by now? And all the menageries of beasts that come here to the capital, not one in all living memory contained a centaur. They're not beasts. They're spirits of the forest. They cannot be made slaves to man, so we have no use for them. Therefore, our eyes fail to see them among the trees. Is this what I get for debating a poet? Hey, I'm debating a guy literally wearing armor. Okay, let's make it fair. Hey, uh, have any of you guys ever seen a centaur? Or know someone who has? See? Your grandfather saw a centaur. Mother. He would tell the story to anyone who would listen. In Thessaly, on the lush slopes of Mount Pelion during the days of his military service. Then he would go into this big thing about how he rose before dawn and how him and the beast locked arrows for three days or something. And then it ran away when it heard his companions coming. Is that true? He was probably lying. But he fought for his family, and he was a senator of Rome, and one day soon you shall be too. Mother, what are you doing in such a rowdy place? Oh, I'm just looking for a new man to keep me company. You look really good tonight, Mrs. Cato. Not you, poet. Father's been dead for barely a year, and here you are carousing? Here I am, enjoying my life while I still have it. What's the matter? You're not still thinking of Carthage again, are you? Carthage must be destroyed, Mother. You should find a woman, if only for tonight. There will be plenty of time to burn crops and sow fields with salt, but until then, you need to find a girl. Mother, please. I'm just saying. Your mother's right. Maybe you shouldn't dwell on the destruction of Carthage so much. Something has to be done about that menacing sort of state. Antagonizing them further could create a very expensive war. The plunder alone would make it worthwhile. If we win. I doubt the power of the gods and you doubt the power of Rome. What a pair we are. You know, I don't understand why you're not running for Quaestor. It'll have to wait, unfortunately. Wait? You've been telling me you've been wanting this since we were kids. This is your year. You'd be a real deal senator. This quaestorship will be around in the next election. With the plague running rapid, would you be? You really should run. Lucius, I'll have to wait. I got the strength in me. But the time is now for people need real change and real leadership. The countryside could revolt if men like Severus have their way. Lucius, if it's so important, why don't you run? Oh, you know I couldn't deal with all that senatorial droning on. Carthage this, Carthage that. Severus runs and his wealth is boundless. What chance would I have? I heard his slaves have slaves. But as for you, my dear fellow, the stories of the glory of Marcus Fabius Cato ring fresh in the ears of us all. Everyone has heard about you. Everyone has heard about me? Everyone. 
Do you think you didn't pay for any drinks tonight just because everyone wants to bang your mom? No offense. I don't know why I have to do this now. I just got back and my father's estate needs to be put in order. When I went to Asia Minor for two years and nobody in Hades knew who I was when I got back. If you don't strike now, then you can't be Edal at 36 when you're first qualified. An ambitious man like you needs this. Does my ambition show that much? Like the race of Apollo's chariot. The curses Hanarum calls your name. Can't you hear it? Quaster at 28, Edal at 36, Preter at 39. Consul at 42. Consul at 42. Who knows what Rome will call on such a man who reached such an office at such an age. But it will never happen unless you strike now. Put on the toga. It is my destiny and I cannot run from it any longer. Lucius, I will. I will be great. I will be great for Rome and for my family. I have heard in this forum a rampant fear of change, a fear of growth, a fear that we cannot take our enemies, and they will destroy us if we accept them. I say fear no longer, for the might of Rome will shine above others and we will live in fairness and equity. We will feed the poor with our bounty. We will do all in our power to contain the plague that has ravaged so many. We will grow strong, not weak. We will grow large, not small, and we will stay Roman. That is why I announce my candidacy for Quester. This man tells you wrong, wrong. We must not look for glory outside of Rome, but from within. His handouts will strip us of our citizenship and make slaves of us all. Rome was once only seven hills. It will grow again. The first aqueduct was not the last. The first road did not travel to every destination. How are you going to pay for this? Will we simply keep growing until we've conquered the entire world? I mean, it sounds like you want some sort of a Roman empire. I feel so stupid just saying it. As long as there are enemies on our borders, we must confront them. A true Roman doesn't cower. What would you have done with these people? Invite them in, give them citizenship? They will corrupt our values with their own. The values I was raised with were not as corruptible as yours. And they will bring with them strength to cover our weaknesses. Yeah. And Jupiter will give us strength to know the difference, as long as the Vestal Virgins keep their fire. I am. I you assured me that no one else was running for the quaestorship, that all the votes had been bought. There, there was no one else running. Many votes were bought, but not all of them. Many people want change. I cannot believe this anti-Roman rhetoric, and from a Cato no less. You know, he might have been a good addition to the Senate if his foreign service in Greece hadn't left him compromised. Compromised? What? Let me tell you of Marcus Cato. I swear to God, I swear to God, he did it right in front of everybody. Everybody saw it crystal clear as day. You know, I'm open to a lot of things, but that's still really weird. It's really weird. Like, okay, it would be different if somebody was doing it to him, but it was not that. It was him doing it to himself. That's what was weird. 
Speaking of Hades. This is the guy. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> no better man for Quaster. I see. Well, nice meeting you. You're looking well, Amelius. Still uh, stumping for Severus? Oh, well, you know, politics these days, it's a lot of uh, talking and uh, politics. Well, I'll save you the trouble of rambling on. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna go get my body oil, if that's... Oh, we'll join you. Oh, no, no, that, that won't be necessary. Yeah. Can't be too friendly with the competition, huh? Mm. Well, that was awkward. I feel strongly that expanding our republic and not limiting ourselves will bring a brighter future to all those who live within our borders. And it would be an honor if I had the endorsement of such an illustrious senator as yourself. Mm. Look, you know I uh, adored your father, and your mother says you're quite the young, passionate man, and if you're as passionate as her, Carthage doesn't stand a chance. But my question to you, are the rumors true? If you're referring to the rumors of my foreign service to the Legion, I can assure you they are. They are? I made sure to be right up front at the head of the pack where all could see. Hmm. So you're enamored with Greek culture? Perhaps not enamored, but I'm willing to try anything once. Hmm. Okay. So do I have your endorsement? You're going to have to give me some time to think over this. I am not as impulsive as you. I would hardly call myself impulsive. I think long and hard about what I'm doing and act accordingly. Oh, yes, I'm sure it takes quite the bit of practice. I heard he was drunker than a fog in a summer solstice. And it was like just dripping down his chin. And then he starts shouting, I'm the Queen of Rome like some monarchist. Blind. Blind, help the blind. Blind, I'm blind. Blind man. Tell me what you know of Marcus Cato. Is that the guy who sucked his own dick? What? Yeah, it was hammered at a Bacchanalia in Greece. Everybody's talking about it. Who told you this? Uh, everybody. I think it's pretty cool. I can't even touch my toes. So, uh, Marcus, there's been a rumor going around that you... Suck my own dick? Yes, that's part of it. What else is there? Well, they said... They said you consumed your own fluids. My own fluids? Meaning I pissed in my own mouth. No, not pee. You cannot be serious. And then they said you gave a speech. I don't want to hear anymore. It was quite eloquent. Lucius, I didn't do this. I've seen you get speechy when you get drunk. Did you ever see me get so speechy when I'm drunk that I suck my own dick? Low-key, man, this is really bad. This is Severus's work. He can't win his way to destroy me with his vulgarity. Then we fight back. I will write a play where he, uh, I don't know, uh, where he lets his wife smack him around. If your drama is half as amusing as your counsel, we'll have him running for the hills, won't we? Mother. I came as soon as I heard. Are these rumors true? No. No what? Be specific. Mother, I will not say these vile words. Marcus Fabius Cato. I did not suck my own dick in a bacchanalia. You assure me that this is false. Oh, Robbie, this is hard, I swear it. Then why did you affirm these rumors to Quintus? Because I didn't know that they were these rumors. And yet you gave them validity. Hey, don't you ask someone what they're talking about like a normal person? I have brought shame to our family. I will never be a senator! You will never be a great many things if you continue to shrink before this man Severus. Tell me, are you the same Marcus Cato who dreams day and night of tearing down the ancient walls of Carthage and selling their women and children into slavery? It's a, it's a silly dream, Mother. But it is your dream. And if my little cherub wants to rape and pillage, then my little cherub is going to rape and pillage. What do you propose we do? There's always my play idea. Speak not, poet. 
I will go to Quintus and explain what has transpired. He will take my word and explain to the others. And what of Severus? You will go to him and offer him a cup of wine and make amends. Amends? After this, this is disgraced? Yes. And the poison that you have fed him will destroy his body and he will die in agony. Will that make you happy? to do this. Oh, I must defend my honor. This is the only way. Look at them over there smiling. Yeah, but I already have the first act. I just- You're not writing that play, Lucius. Here is a cup for you, and here is a cup for our friend. Go show him what you're made of. Well, I hope this fares well. I can't say I'm excited to be involved with your treachery. I thought poets were supposed to be smart. There's no poison in that wine. No, no poison? How else do you suppose I get my son to make peace in public? I don't want to kill Severus. I want grandchildren. Damn, you are good. You sure you don't want to go out sometime? Yeah, poet, not now. Everybody knows now. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Marcus Cato. We were just talking about you. It seems everyone is. Yes, I've heard, Severus. Your dirty trick has not gone unnoticed in my camp. <laughs> oh, is it my dirty trick now? I've heard you've got a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up. I've come to make amends. There's no reason why this election should stray from our rhetoric. Amends? You've got the wrong guy. <laughs> I'm just repeating what I heard. Then you'll do right by denying the rumors. Here, drink with me. What is this? <laughs> Your special recipe? <laughs> <laughs> it's just wine, Severus. Oh, really? Because we all know what kind of foreign food you like to eat, right, guys? <laughs> 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 Here. Why don't you hold on to your wine and I'll enjoy the quaestorship? I mean, I'll even. Oh, oh, look, it looks like I've made a mess. I, I, I'm on my period. Does that interest you, Marcus? Look, if you want some, you can come lap it up. Here, look, look at him. If you want it, come lap it up. Come lap it up. Look, look at him, he's, about, he's licking his lips. He's about to lick his lips. Wait, watch his, watch his lips. They're gonna form a little circle. He's gonna lick. A big circle, a big circle. Cell isn't so bad. I hear Gaul is really nice in this time of the year. Is it? Well, not this time of the year. But it can be in other times of the year. Don't worry. You'll be back in no time, and everyone will have completely forgotten Marcus Cato. They probably already have. <laughs> 